We warn you not to try this at home. Viewer discretion is advised. We went on this crazy ass trip to this abandoned hospital. No, it was weird. The Everglades Memorial Hospital opened up in 1938, closed in 1998 due to financial problems. It's like I would turn every corner expecting something crazy, and it's like you never know what's like written on the walls or what items could be. It was just crazy and I always had to watch my back because I felt like something was there. It's kind of crazy to think that people were in this building at one point and all just like went to waste. And genuinely when I walked in there, I felt fucking spooked. Exploring the Everglades Memorial Hospital. On today's video, the team heads out to rural Pahokee, Florida in search of an abandoned hospital. The Everglades Regional Medical Center opened in 1936 in the small town of Pahokee, Florida. To this day, the building still stands. So we have arrived at the hospital. We're about to go in All right. with the gang. There'll be some crazy, crazy stuff. Let's take a look. Okay, literally look. This is just one side. This is a big hospital. That rusty sign. Mm -mm. I am not prepared. Everglades Memorial was ultimately shut down in 1998, with some still believing they were financially forced to by the district. We're going to go into the abandoned hospital. This is the Everglades Regional Medical Center. Yeah, we're all set, ready to go, being safe. Ain't that right, right everybody? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a big right there. And um, a lot of rust. I'm gonna get like asbestos or something, whatever. Holy Yeah. Yeah, I am. Basically, this is most likely where everyone would enter. The shot with me. I don't want to be in it alone. Holy. Oh. Me? I know. What happened? Yeah. It smells. It's really strong. Yeah. Yeah. Like I smell. This looks so fucking yeah. creepy. Yeah. Sour punch straws. Okay, so you need to look beyond the front of the body. You need to be looking 
You see this long stairwell? Yeah, we're, that's we're obviously we're... right here. That's okay. where we were all talking at. We entered from the side. We're parked over here. I saw a rat. I saw a rat. I see a shoe too. Yeah, someone's been living here. Yo, that's where we entered at right there. Oh, y'all. Isn't that pretty? We tried going down there earlier. There were spider webs. This is like Blair Witch if you do that. It's like empty. Like it's the elevator's not there. That's so eerie. Like this like is like seventies, nineties. Oh my god, there's stairs. Hell. This around. looks like y'all think about this. This Wait. is where it is from. Oh my god. Oh, that Ikea. sounds very pleasing. High key. Move. Yeah. High key. Let's go, let's go. But let's look at the end of the hallway okay. first. <laughs> y'all, this looks like a science class. Like the ones like you have to like use some weird stand up table. This is my cooking class, y'all. You know, we have a lot of budget cuts. But um, y'all can just find an area to sit down. No, I wanted to go visit an abandoned school, but them shits are like so old, they had mold on the walls. I was like, yeah, that's what my school looks like. This creepy ass staircase was leading down to the cellar and it was so dark down there. Everything was like jumbled up. Like we were trying to find a morgue where like they keep the dead bodies in hospitals and stuff. If there's more stairs, I will cry. Oh my, there's stairs. What? This is some Luigi's Mansion my. type shit. This, Holy shit. Oh yeah, my god. We done. We getting. That is the basement. I don't know. It was probably the darkest part in. The hospital I think that I saw like not dark as in just like light dark but just like you just felt like a horrible just feeling when you walked up to it I don't know it was weird it freaked me out so we just <sighs> Were those bats? Bad? Bitch. Yeah, she had it. I heard that shit. Y'all need to pay more attention. Like, if that was actually something, I'm preparing you for the worst. Like, it's okay. never fucking gonna happen, but it's the worst. Guys, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Don't people do like rituals in these types of things? There's literally trees growing on the ceiling or the freaking roof thing right there. Do you see that? Thank you. 
There's another upstairs. As soon as we got onto the rooftop, it was so weird because like crawling up the stairs, I felt the same feeling that I felt before when I was in there and I was like really creeped out and stuff. But as soon as I got onto the rooftop, everything just felt super calm. When we went up on the rooftop, we saw police coming and we thought, cause it was trespassing. So obviously like we were kind of like afraid that the police were gonna come and like like detain us and stuff, I don't know. I mean, I was scared of that more than most of the stuff in the hospital, but like, I don't know. That is ancient. So that right there is something to do with, I think, talking on the phone and like patching people through. Yeah. I don't know. Either that or a really Transform. old ass transformer. To find someone who's insane. Sure. It's something that I don't know what to call it. She got like reception for surgery. I'd take a picture for for my kids. I'm sweating right now, and this is good content. How's the church across the street? We don't need that. Exactly. Alright. There's only been a few small occurrences right now. Other main lobby, there should be a table right there, I'm guessing. But the edge is there. We're at a very scary intersection. Guys, I'm kind of confused. I need other lights on me. Down there, I think there's one that's just there. Oh, right. Run. Bro, I'm gone. No, this is where surgeries were held. Look, y'all can see all the little towers of where the track used to run for the curtains. like it was definitely a cool experience like I felt like feelings that I think I I'd never felt before like it was genuinely scary like you go to Halloween Horror Nights and all of those, all those other places and you know it's not real so it's not full well, for me it's not that scary but being in something like that and having it being completely 100% real it's it's the weirdest feeling ever so weird because it felt like 
it was a part of a city, but it was just this little town that had this, that's probably one of the biggest structures in the entire town, that abandoned hospital. Like, I can't even imagine living there. I don't know, I don't really, I didn't really think of anything physically, but I was thinking mentally, like, it's kind of crazy to think that people were in this building at one point and all just, like, went to waste. So this was, um, a very interesting, like, adventure that we did. Um, I would say that I would do it again. I would go back. But I would have gone a bit more, like, prepared, you could say. Um, but besides that, I, I would go back. I would do it again.